highly commendable president and former president of Nigeria departed for his home base. My regards to him. All the excellences, the head of state, presidents, and leaders of various countries here are present. Former head of state, a great man, committed and highly honest the development of this country, General Yakub Gowon. My dear wife, the new first lady, Olure Mitinubu. Your Excellency Vice President Kasim Shetima and his wife Nana Shetima. Senate President, distinguished senators Ahmed Lawan as of Representative Speaker. Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila and his wife Salamatu. The Chief Justice of the Federation, Olukayo de Arewola, Your Excellencies, Governors, here present. The Chairman of our party, APC, Senator Ablai Adamu. Former APC Interim Chairman Chief B.C. Akonde and my brother and uncle Chief Shegun Osoba. Distinguished Senators and Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, Honorable Ministers and, and Members of the Just Dissolved National Executive, Members of diplomatic corps, the royal fathers, men of the armed forces, I salute you for your sacrifices and the supreme sacrifices you've made for this country, for the men and women. We thank you. And we thank you the way today is going well. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens. I stand before you honored to assume the sacred mandate you have given me. My love for this nation is abiding. My confidence in its people unwavering and my faith and God Almighty is absolute. I know that his hand shall provide the needed moral strength and clarity of purpose <clears throat> in those instances when even it seems to have reached the limit of human capacity. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
this day is bold and majestic yet bright and full of spirit as is our precious nation as a nation we have long ago decided to march beyond the dimness of night into open day of renewed national hope. The question is, and we must now as a sketch, is whether to remain faithful to the work inherited in the building of a better society or retreat into the shadows of our unmet potential. For me, there is but no one answer. There are two great, we are too great a nation and too grounded as a people to rob ourselves of our finest destiny. The nation's journey has been shaped by the prayers of our Finding fathers and other millions and the collective sacrifices of us all. We have endured the hardship that will have made other societies crumble. We have shouldered the heavy body to arrive at this sublime moment where the prospect of a better future merges with our improved capacity to create that future. To the surprise of many, but not to ourselves, we have more firmly established this land as a democracy in both word and deed. The peaceful transition from one government to another now is our political tradition. This and over symbolizes our trust in God, our enduring faith, in representative governance and our belief in our ability to reshape this nation into to its society it was always meant to be. My brothers and sisters, permit me to say a few words to my predecessor. President Mahamadou Buhari, Mr. President, former. You have been an honest, patriotic leader who has done his best for the nation you love. On a more personal note, you are a worthy partner and a friend. I may easily be kind to you. For many years, Nigeria's critics have trafficked that ru the rumor that our nation will break up. 
even perish. They have even redesigned the maps. Yet we are here. We have stumbled at times, but resilience and diversity have kept us going, and we will keep going. Our body may make us bend at times, but it shall never break us. Instead, we stand forth as Africa's most populous nation and as the best hope and strongest champion of the black race. As a citizen, we declare as one unified people devoted to one unified nation, national cause, that as long as this world exists, Nigeria shall exist. Take me back to the old man sitting back there, General Yakub Gowan, a cliche to give Nigeria one is a task that must be done. If you are young or old, you will remember that. Today, fate and destiny join together to place the touch of human progress in our very hands. We dare not let it slip. We live high this touch so that it might shine on every household and in every heart that calls itself Nigeria. We hold the beam aloft because it likes our path with compassion. Brotherhood and peace. May this great light never extinguish. Say amen. Our administration will govern you only on your behalf, but never rule over you. We shall consult and dialogue, but never dictate. We shall reach out to all, but never put down a single person for holding views contrary to our own. We are here to further mend and heal this nation, not tear and injure it. In this way, may I offer a few comments regarding the election that brought us here today to this juncture. Yes, it was a hard fought contest and was also fairly won. Since the advent of the Fourth Republic, Nigeria has known had an election of a better quality. I say so. 
The outcome reflected in will of the people. However, my victory does not render me any more Nigerian than my opponent. Nor does this render them any less patriotic. They shall forever be my fellow compatriots and I will treat them as such. They represent important constituencies and concerns that wisdom they are not ignore. Some have taken their concerns to court seeking legal redress. That is their right and I fully defend that exercise of this right. This is the essence of the rule of law. Over decades ago, our founding fathers bravely gave us this country to place Nigeria on the map of, our, of an independent nation. We must never allow the labor of those who came before us to wither in vain, but to blossom and bring forth a better reality. Let us take the next great step, the journey they began and believed in. Today, let us commit ourselves to placing Nigeria in our hearts as the indispensable home for each and every one of us, regardless of creed, ethnicity, or place of birth. To my supporters, I thank you. To who did vote for me, I thank you as well. I send my hand across the political divide. I ask you to grasp and a national affinity and brotherhood. For me, political coloration has faded away. All I see here are Nigerians. All of you. May we uphold this victory, an excellent notion as a new Nigeria idea. My fellow citizens, Nigeria idea, which I speak of, is more than just an improvement in economic and statistics. These things are important, but they can never convey the fullness of our story. Our mission is to improve our ways of life in a manner that nurtures our humanity, encourages compassion towards one another, and duly reward our collective effort to social ills that seek to divide us. Our constitution gave us a nation on paper. We must work hard at bringing 
these noble documents to life by strengthening the bonds of economic collaboration, social cohesion, and cultural understanding. Let us develop a shared sense of fairness and equality. South must not only seek good for itself, but must understand that its interests are served when goods come to the north. North must not see the south likewise. Whether from the winding creeks of Niger Delta, the fastness of northern savannah, the boardroom of Lagos, the building, bustling capital of Abuja, as busy market of Onisha. You are all my people. As your president, I shall serve you with prejudice towards none, but compassion and amity towards all. In the coming days and weeks, my team will publicly detail the key aspects of our economic program. Today, permit me to outline in broad terms a few initiatives that divide our concept of progressive good governance and furtherance of the Nigerian idea. The principles that will guide our administration are very simple. Nigeria will be impartially governed according to the rule of law, the Constitution. We shall defend the nation from terror and all form of criminality that threaten the peace, the peace and stability of our country. We shall remodel our economy to bring our growth and develop the GDP much better, achieve the GDP much better than we have today, I assure you. Do that through job creation, food security, and an end to extreme poverty. In our administration, women and youth will feature prominently. Our government will continue to take proactive steps, such as championing a credit culture to discourage corruption while strengthening the effectiveness and eff efficiency of the various anti-corruption agencies. It has to be a continued work in progress. Security shall be top priority of our administration. Because neither prosperity nor justice 
can prevail amid insecurity and violence. To effectively tackle this, we shall reform both our security doctrine and its architecture. We shall invest more in our security personnel and in it means more than an increase in number. We shall provide better training, equipment, pay, and far power. Why people just come? On the economy, we target a GDP not less than 6% growth. We end to accomplish all of this by taking the following steps. Budgetary reform, stimulating the economy without engendering inflation, industrial policy, to utilize the full range of domestic manufacturing and lessen import dependency. The electricity will become more accessible and affordable to businesses and homes alike. Power generation should nearly double and transmission and distribution network must improve significantly. We will encourage various state governments to, to continue to participate in this effort power generation and distribution of their own. I have a message for our investors, local and foreign. Our government shall review all the complaints about multiple taxation. and review various anti-investment inhibitions. We shall ensure that investors and foreign businesses repatriate their hard and dividend and profits owed. My administration must create meaningful opportunities for our youth. We shall honor our campaign commitment of one million jobs and the digital economy. Our government also shall work with the National Assembly to Fashion and omnibus job and prosperity bill. This will give our administration the policy space to embark on labor intensive infrastructural development improvement, encourage light industry, provide improved social services for the poor, elderly, and vulnerable. On agriculture, rural incomes shall be secured by Commodity Exchange Board guaranteeing minimum prices for certain crops. Animal products 
a nationwide program for the storage and facilities to reduce spoilage and waste. All of that will be undertaken. Agricultural hubs will be created throughout the nation to increase production and engage in credit, promote credit, engage in value added processing. The livestock we introduce the best modern practices and step taken to minimize the perennial conflict. Through this, food will be made more abundant, yet less costly. Farmers shall earn more while the average Nigerians pay less. On infrastructure, we shall continue the efforts of the Buhari administration on infrastructure development of Nigeria. And you know how many railroad and uh, water infrastructure are required. On fuel subsidy, unfortunately, the budget that I've glimpsed before I assume office and what I've had is that no provision is there for fuel subsidy. The fuel subsidy is gone. <laughs> subsidy can no longer justify its ever increasing costs and the wake of dry resources. We shall instead rechannel whichever choco to fund into better investment in public infrastructure, education, healthcare, and jobs that we materially improve the lives of our people. Monetary policy. Though house cleaning, thorough house cleaning is necessary, the central bank must work towards a unified exchange rate. This will direct the fund from arbitrage to meaningful investment and the plant and equipment, jobs that are powered, that will power the real economy. Interest rates need to come down. Currently too high, anti people, anti business. We have to work on all of those. To me, I know I've taken you through a winding time. A long time today, I will end this 
speak by assuring that the mandate you have given me is not misplaced. The confidence is there. Hope is back for Nigeria. Just let us be united. Thank you. God bless Nigeria.